here we are. What virus are you most impressed by, like phenotypically? Oh, I don't know. COVID's one, huh? pretty damn interesting. Like it's, it is, huh? Well, it, I mean, everyone thinks that the, uh, that a pandemic, like the worst pandemic, would be something that had like a rabies fatality rate. But no way, because it would die out too fast, and people would actually right. like pay attention and get vaccinated and take mm-hmm. <laughs> and like actually take precautions to prevent it. Because it's like, oh god, I'm going to die. So I think mm-hmm. it's like when you play the the games of pandemic, and there's also one on the CDC's website that. If you're trying to design a, a pathogen to cause a pandemic, you actually want it to have a really low case fatality rate. Because yeah, people are like, well, it's not that big of a deal. What was like, uh, oh, tuberculosis. Mm. That was that was a good creeper. Because yeah. it's, it's like 15 years later, you start just well, coughing weird. Yeah, like super long incubation period. And the thing about TB now is there's a lot of it that's drug resistant. Um, and so... You know, you've got to be on all these special drugs for a really long time. And sometimes you've got resistant strains of the bacteria that doesn't respond. And so it can be really tough to treat. Mm. Okay. What's fascinating about COVID from your perspective? I mean, that's that's a that's a lot of fascinating things. Well, so but... like a year, well, I guess a year and three months ago when this first started happening, I was like, holy cow, this is amazing. This is the yeah. coolest thing. Like, this is what I study. This is this is what I teach. Yeah. Um, you know, I wrote an op-ed about it. I was like, this is amazing. Like, this is not the first yeah. time this has happened. Um, and then I think that it sinks in like, oh, this really sucks. Yeah. And so like not the virus it's, itself, but like just thinking about all of the implications on society and people's lives and, um, you know, how oh, the, f- the mental the first health three months were yeah. like the most interesting oh, time yeah. ever. It's like you get to turn you go, uh, you'd be on Twitter and there'd be a picture of someone that put like a milk jug on their head in the grocery store instead of a mask like wow i can't believe i get to see this this is incredible scary and everything but like what a what a spectacle yeah it's, um it is interesting and i think kind of what is more interesting than the virus virus itself i think is people's reaction to mm-hmm. having to deal with stuff like this like i know that my my parents i had lunch with them this weekend and my parents are 80 years old and they're just like, I don't think the CDC knows what they're talking about. They just keep changing their mind. And I'm mm. like, no, it's the the virus keeps changing. Like it's evolving yeah. in front of our eyes. And I, th- I don't think that most people have that much of an appreciation for the natural world and how, I mean, sure, we see like animal species, but they don't evolve at this rate that we can recognize. And so we're seeing this constant evolution of the virus. Oh, it's got a new host and it does this. And so I think just kind of the implications on people's knowledge of how science actually works. Like we don't have the answers to everything immediately. 